All right, so Chrysler makes this impossible to find because we've got a million different combos for this type of van. And this one isn't even mentioned in the user's manual. But all of these Chrysler vehicles, it doesn't matter how many fancy features you've got, this one literally only has front HVAC. There's nothing in the ceiling. There's nothing in back. So we've got this little noggle guy. Um, our problem, we replaced the battery about a year ago, and I've noticed my wife's air con is not that great since then, but it shouldn't have that many issues. Well, according to the Chrysler user's manual, there's a couple different tips and tricks you can do to recalibrate this thing, none of which mention this specific one. So based off of tips and tricks from other users, here's how you program the most basic manual HVAC available in these guys. As you can see, the lights are blinking. I've already got the programming going. Set the blower directional knob to face, also known as panel in the user manual. Set that guy to cold. Put that guy all the way to hot. Turn the van ignition on. Now, this guy has almost 230,000 miles, but the air con was working perfectly before we really replaced the, uh, the battery. Ooh, now we got more blinkies. I'm supposed to push, I think, this guy to confirm. No, this guy? Did I push anything to confirm? There we go. Alright, anyway. So, to do the reprogram, you set this to face, which I have now done. Push and hold the rear wiper button and the air con on button while the van is on, but not started. Okay, you got me? Van on, not started. All of these knobs set to exactly that. Push and hold those two buttons at the same time. Like so. One, two, three, four, five. See how they all lit up? And now you can hear the different fans and everything doing stuff. It is now recalibrating. Reason for that being, tucked down under these panels, which I'm not going to rip off, are not cables like what's in my 2005 Focus, but little electric motors. Because this is a fancy van, let's tuck as much fancy technology as we can into this guy. Um, those motors, also called servos, have sensors in them to tell them where exactly it is place the battery in one of these guys, sometimes it forgets where the servo was when it was last parked. So it just assumes, oh hey, servo is at zero when it might be at 10 or 100 or any other setting, which then throws off where the van needs to park the servo when it chooses each temperature setting. So when I change this guy from full face to full defrost, that was working fine. My issue was the servo for this guy got stuck or confused because the day we replaced the battery, it wasn't too hot, it wasn't too cold. So whatever setting this guy was on when we replaced the battery, it wasn't the default setting. And I'm not sure what that should be. And that probably wouldn't be a bad idea to learn. I'm assuming putting it as close to up and down as possible before you pull the battery is smart. Um, but we had to replace the battery because it died on us a couple of times, so it might have gone out of whack before that. So again, I'm just going to let you guys watch. It is doing the little blinky lights. When those blinky lights are done, I'm not sure which button you push, but you push one of the buttons to confirm that you're accepting those changes, and you should be good to go. Now, like I said, this guy is the absolute base model. I pulling parts from the junkyard. I think the only time I've ever seen this specific model is um, when I'm like pulling out of a CV or any of the other um, like super, super, super base model ones. Oop, I accidentally turned the rear washer on. How do I confirm? There we go. Push and hold air con. And that's literally it. 
That's how you program the super base model version of the van. And now, I'm not going to tell my wife. because She has to go to work today. It's supposed to be hot enough she needs the air conditioning. So, she's going to find out that it blows a lot colder than it should. Or it has been. So that's exciting.